In this video, I'm going to show you how to import an Excel file with contacts into Microsoft Outlook contacts. So this is my Microsoft Outlook. And when I go to contacts here, I don't have any contacts. So this is my Excel file. I have about 10 contacts with the first, last name, email, and address. So I'm going to import this into Microsoft Outlook contact. So to see the extensions of a file, for example, a Word document, the .docx, or in an Excel file, .xlsx, or .csv, it has to be enabled. So to do that, open File Explorer, click on the View tab, and on the right side, there's file name extensions. So if I uncheck that, you can't see the extensions. So to enable it, select file name extension. Just check the box here and it shows. So the first step is that I have to save this Excel file into a CSV file. So to do that, go to file select save as and i'm going to rename it contacts now there's a drop down arrow here i'm going to click on it and i am going to select csv so this is the extension i want it to be saved as csv i'm going to save it on my desktop click save so now this is the file so my excel file was saved as a CSV file. So I'm going to open Microsoft Outlook. Now I want to import that file into my contacts. So I'm going to click on File here on Outlook. Select Open and Export. Select Import slash Export. You want to make sure Import from another program or file is selected. Click Next, select file type to import from. It has to be CSV, comma separated values. Click Next. So the file to import, it's on my desktop. I'll click on Browse, and it's here. Contacts.csv, click OK. And under Options, I want to say do not import duplicate items click next now here you want to select the destination folder and it has to be contacts click next this has to be selected click finish and it's important so now when I click on contacts here the 10 contacts that I had in Excel were imported so I have all these options. I can click on list, card, business card. So these are the 10 contacts that were in Excel. Now to test this out, I'll click on new email, click to, and these are the list of the contacts. Click OK here, and that's how it looks. So if I double click on John Bess, now, if you want to have his company name, job title, and all these other information here, you can do that in Excel. You can place it here. So you can fill all these other information here and then save it as a CSV file and import it in Microsoft Outlook. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching. I ask you to subscribe.